This is Kim Meyer, host of Choose to Rise. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Welcome to the C. Jane Sell Podcast, a relatable sales podcast for your weekly dose of sanity. I'm your host, Chelsea Dupre. And I'm your host, Lee Nevis. everyone and welcome to another week on the C Jane Cell podcast. It's your girl Lee and Chelsea. We're here. We're ready. We're excited. Um, there's a gnat flying around in the room we're recording. So no if deal. our voices just change momentarily, it's because we're trying to kill a gnat. So yeah. and that's just what we're business. working with. <laughs> that's what we're working with today. Yeah. So it's all good. Um, Chelsea, like what's been going on with you this week? This week, what has been going on? Work. Work. Working. We're going to a wedding. Um, yeah. You sound really excited. Very excited. It'll be fun. And, um, yeah, we're right to Nashville, so we're going to go stay at the Westin on Sunday, and we're really excited. Amazing. Yeah. Love it. So much fun. What about you? Oh, should I tell the people? Yeah, absolutely tell the people. I got a lip flip. <laughs> okay, so explain what a lip flip is because I had no idea until I had to Google it. Yeah, okay. I was like, which, by the way, I absolutely am getting one now after seeing Chelsea's, but anyways, lip flip. What's lip up with flip. that? I'm on day, like, six, so it will be fully set in the next, like, one to three days. But instead of using a filler, they use Botox on, they do two injections on the left side and the top, two injections on the right side and the top, and then on two on the bottom on each side as well. So they go in there and what it does, it basically, um, like freezes the muscle so your lip starts to flip up so it shows more pink. Um, now you'll use your lip muscles a lot more so it doesn't last as long, Mm -hmm. but it does the trick. I think I like the it. price. Yeah, and it's cheaper, and I like it better because it's like sometimes girls get filler, and you just look and you're like, "Wow, oh, she uses filler." Yeah. Like, well, the you other can thing. Tell. Yeah, and the other thing too is, um, like if you go to the a wrong person, like it's not you're not going to have a permanent bubble in your lip from filler. Mm-hmm. Like like from Botox, like you would filler. Yes. Like I feel bad for the people that they're always going to have that. Yeah. Like, that sucks. Mm-hmm. So, and then people are like, you're not going to be able to say your B's and your P's. I've been fine. <laughs> She's been able to talk. I, well, the B's and the P's haven't got me, but I talk fast, mm-hmm. typically, and I'm like, oof, 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 oof. <laughs> So I can't, sometimes I have to just slow down. And I have a really hard time drinking out of bottles and cans. <laughs> I can't spit out, like, you know when you, like, brush your teeth and you go to, like, go in the sink and, like, spit it out? Yeah. Hard. Hard really hard um but it doesn't look like your mouth is like moving like irregularly no and I think it's gonna help with like lip lines so yeah absolutely I think it looks great I went to Magnolia Aesthetics okay they were awesome they're a place here in Louisville and St. Matthews cool and the girls at Main Alley told me about it and my friend Jack at Work the Metal also told me about it and I did it I've done it I've done the thing I love it. Maybe I'll just go get it today. Just be like, hey, listen. Let's I just want my I just want my upper lip though, because my bottom lip is it overpowers me. It's yeah. just like, but my upper lip is like non-existent, and sometimes when I talk, I feel like I'm just I feel like I don't know. Oh yeah. Well, the thing I noticed too when you did that, mm-hmm. you know, like when you my gums show a lot when I smile. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. Now. They don't now, Ooh. unless I'm like real crazy. Right. That's but, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks great. So, anyways. So, good for you. Anyone looking for a lip flip? Or want just, like, a little bit more, like, oomph to your lips? Yeah. Nothing, like, crazy, but just, like, a right. little. And it's really affordable. It's under 100 bucks. Mm-hmm. And, like, fillers are, like... Well, for the whole year, if you stuck up with, stood up with it and you did it four times a year, it's half the price of filler, which only will last 9 to 12 months, depending on the person. Yeah, and fillers are fracking expensive. So, like... A lot. A lot of money. Yeah. Way more than, like, a little lip bucks. Flip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anyways. 
So well, cool. Yeah. So a little endorsement. Love them. I love it. So sweet. Cool. How was your week? My week has been good. I have been um, really exhausted because, so at my like little side gig where I cocktail serve, we had this like convention in last week and I literally worked so much and every night was just like a Slammed. cluster F. It was awful. And like, it wasn't like, it. we were slammed, but it was just like, everyone was awful. Everyone was just like, they couldn't understand why drinks were taking more than 60 seconds to be made. It, I, it's like, well, there's literally 500 people in this restaurant and like, hold on, hold on. We can do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. We finally killed this night. You guys were so excited. Okay, great. Um, I'm just going to flick yeah, it off right there. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Now we can continue. Press on. Undistracted. Um, <laughs> But it was just, like, I mean, there's three bartenders, and when you ring in, like, 40 drinks at once, like, they're great, and they move great, but it's, like, you literally only have so many hands. Right. Like, you can only you do can, so much. You can chill. Like, you understand, like, if your drink takes three minutes to come out to you, I think you will live. Like, instead of 60 It was just, it was just a lot, and I was so exhausted, Patience and I worked. trying. Oh, my gosh. And I closed every night, so I was there till like, 1.30 or 2.00. And then I had to get up and work on business stuff, and then which is, so which is really exciting. But then I had to shower and then go back in because I had to pick up extra. Because we oh my god, so, so you grinded hard and were I a boss hard. Yeah. Now it's over, and I have today off and tomorrow off, and then I have the weekend, which I'm going to Hanover College Homecoming because that's where my husband went to college, yeah. and they're having like a cute little reunion. And when I say cute, it's just like a bunch of people who are now in their 30s and still know how to party and I'm a little scared but it'll just be a really fun relaxing weekend and I think it'll be good for like my hard work paying yeah, off paying but, off but yeah so I'm proud of you thank you I appreciate you and, and your page is live now my page monthly is live Maine. please go follow monthly main on Instagram so I'm really stoked like all of October, we're going to try to, like, do some social media stuff, get a little following. And when can people sign up for this? So, in November, After we will, me. Right, of course. In November, we will start taking orders, mm-hmm. and then the first box will go out in December. That is the plan right now. Um, it really depends on how quickly we can get, a, like, shipping, like, integration system up and running and how fast we can get our orders up and running. It seems like that is probably going to be the plan, but, I mean... By the end of the year, we will be taking orders. Perfect. So, I'm excited. And, oh, it's just, like, cute little details. And, like, now it's, like, all the hard stuff we have to get together. Yeah. So, it's just a little bit of a grind. But I have faith. And I'm stoked. So, that's how my week has been. Love it. Thank you. Um, I wanted to share a little bit of inspiration that I found. Absolutely. Please. From the one and only Red, White, and Blonde. L Woods. <laughs> I was like, is that a blog? But yes. Yeah. L Woods. L Woods. The, like, channel I mean, your inner L. That is, that movie, Legally Blonde, it, like, helps me through so much. And I don't think that the writers realized. It's just, like, the premise of being kind mm-hmm. and being yourself. hmm Which I think really, really leads into what we wanted to talk about today. Yes. So don't need that anymore because the nat's dead oh hey you're right freedom Woo. <laughs> um but yeah so you want to kick it off girl yeah absolutely um so today we wanted to talk to you guys about five things that are keeping you from reaching your goals i think that these five things are probably the most I guess, common reasons that people don't reach their goals. And it's just like, you forget about it. And I think it's something you have to consciously think about, like when you're, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling unmotivated, like these are five things that you need to just like be aware of because Mm -hmm. they literally happen to everyone and everyone experiences these things. It's not just, you know, it's not reserved for like a certain, like unsuccessful, like really, really successful, and incredible people experience this stuff. Yes. And so these are things that I, I personally would love to work on. And we thought that it would be great to talk about today in yeah. case you need to work on them too. Yeah. And if you don't, then you just start a podcast and let me know what it's called. So I can <laughs> and I will learn listen. from you. 
write a blog, I will read it. I will <laughs> skim it. Yes, exactly. Um, cool. So do you want to kick off the first one? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is waiting till you're ready. Waiting until you are ready is the wrong Yum. move. You're not going to be ready. You're never going to be ready. You're and absolutely not. In Maddox and Rose, and she was saying, like, if anyone wants to start a business, like, if it's on your mind and you really feel passionate about it, just do it. You're yes. never going to be ready. Never. Ever. Yeah. And I think you always, like, have to think in your mind. Like, I think we get in our heads of, like, well, I need to learn how to do this first. I need to learn how to do this. Like, I really don't have the time right now, whatever. No. Make the time. Learn as you go. Mm-hmm. If you get to a point where you're panicking over something, I promise you, your, like, adrenaline and, like, survival mode You'll will kick, kick in, yeah. and you will figure it out, like, as you go. That's kind of what I've been doing a lot, because it's, like, I've never freaking used, like, spreadsheets and, like, converting them into, like, I don't, I don't know, but it's, like, I have to learn it, yeah. and I am, like, learning how to do it. And if I waited until I was ready, I would never be ready because it's not something that I needed right then, but now I do need it, and now I know I need to learn it. Yeah. So it's like, you just got to jump in and dive in, and you're literally never going to be ready. I love that. The best time to start something is six months ago. The second best time oh, is hurts. now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> fist bump! <laughs> I went fist bump, but... Prep for a chest bump. You did. I mean, I appreciated it. Though. It's fine. You made this. Like, when you were halfway <laughs> there, you were ready. <laughs> yeah. I just think that's so important. You're never gonna, it's never gonna be the right time mm-hmm. ever. Completely. So you just gotta do it. You have to just if do it. If it's something you're really passionate about, you just go in with, with the mindset of, I am refusing to fail and mm-hmm. I'm gonna figure it out. Yes. Failure isn't Ugh. an option for this. It's my passion. I love it. I'm going for it. I have goals that I have and I am going to hit. Yes. So you just fight for it. Yeah. You just got to close your eyes. You know, like, it's kind of like when you're at the gym and maybe you're oh, doing, yeah. like, sprint intervals or something. <gasps> I've been doing that. Right. And you're just, like, jogging at, like, a 4.5 or a 5 and you're like, uh, eh, no. I'm just going to stay here. Sometimes you just have to close your eyes blind. Well, maybe not blindly, but you just have to like hit that seven, hit that eight and oh. don't think about it. Yep. Because even if you're not ready, if that treadmill starts going, you will literally have to keep up and have to run and do that sprint. So yeah. sometimes you just have to literally press it, even if you're not ready and go for just it, do it and just do it because it'll be over in literally like a minute or 30 seconds. 30 seconds for the me. Yeah. Yeah. I think the best thing that you can think about in like hard times or difficult times is that they always end they always end and have like your I think that's why vision boards are so important yes like when you're going through the hard time look at what your goal is completely like this is my this is my goal which leads into one of the other things that we wanted to talk about Mm -hmm. was setting unrealistic goals Mm -hmm. or yes the thing that I really like that from I've learned from work is setting smart goals absolutely you know something that is obtainable, realistic. It's, I, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. This is when I'm going to do it. Yes. Like making a plan. Cause I think that a lot of people set goals that are either too high and like, you can't just say like, Hey, I want to make a million dollars next year. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, how are you going to do that? Is that realistic for you? Do you, yep. are you able and willing to put in the time and effort to do that? Yep. Or maybe you want to make do you need to scale it back and say, I want to make $500,000 next yeah. year? And that's something you could realistically obtain. Even if you don't reach it, it is a goal that you can reach toward and not feel like so overwhelmed, like I'm not going to get there. Mm-hmm. And so definitely setting realistic goals and setting a plan to reach them is something that I think it will help you in yeah. the long run. It's as simple as I want to make... $200,000 next year. So what do I have to do? I have to hit X amount of sales and pick up a side job. Yes. Like that's not glamorous, but mm-hmm. you do that and you set your sights on it. I guarantee you, you'll get what you're, if not that either more or right underneath it. Completely. Yeah. So, and pe- I mean, it's, it's so easy when you're like really motivated to yes. set an unre- unrealistic goal and like, at 9 o'clock at night when you're laying in bed, and you're like, oh, my gosh, can oh my I gosh, just see myself this. at the gym? Like, yeah. I'm going to wake up so early. I'm waking up at 5. 
hey, Alexa, wake me up at 5. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. Alexa, wake me up at 5.15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So it's kind of like that whole thing of like when you try to make like a million plans when you feel like really motivated and wanting to hang out with people, and then the day comes and you're like, oh my gosh, I hope how am I gonna get out of this? Cancel. Like, yeah. maybe I should fake an injury. Like, I don't know <laughs> what to do. Like, it's but you have to realize like, am I actually gonna want to hang out with five people five nights in a row, or should I just schedule like one dinner this week? Yeah, you know. For sure. You have to just set realistic goals because setting unrealistic goals... Sets you up for failure. Sets you up for failure. Mm -hmm. It does. So, and that kind of leads into the third mistake that we make. And that is viewing your mistakes as failures. Yes. There's a difference between, like, setting yourself up for failure. Mm -hmm. Like, doing ten things in seven minutes Mm -hmm. that require... An hour. Mm-hmm. That is setting yourself up for failure. Yep. But, like, this is... You present it too soon to a customer. Mm-hmm. That's a mistake you can learn from. It's not a failure. Because Completely. you're going to present to them again down the road, but you're going to be better at it. Yes. Or, I mean, as simple as just saying something at the wrong time, or mm-hmm. you're late for a meeting, or you did something wrong one day... I mean, it's just a mistake, not a failure. Correct. My mistake is not eating lunch before I came here, and I hope (laughs) everyone just heard my stomach grow so loud. (laughs) But it's just a mistake, not a failure. Um, Yeah, I think we can really get down on ourselves, especially when we're starting something new, and we can convince ourselves, like, oh my gosh, I'm not right for this. Like, this is not meant for me because I'm making so many mistakes. But all you're doing is you're learning. Yeah. You're learning for the future. Well, Um, well, one thing in our job, or my job, is you go out and you cold call, and you cold call, and you cold call. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're going to go, as a new person, you're going to go to an account that we actually already service. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times you're like, I'm so stupid, I failed. I'm like, oh my gosh. You call it an account we already service. Like, now you know. Like, now no you can ask deal. for a referral letter. Like, yeah. it's not a big deal. Absolutely. No big deal. Yeah. Sometimes you have to fall on your face because that is only going to set you up to be better for the next thing. Completely. I met a guy this week who, um, he had a friend who was from Australia. Okay. And he decided he was going, this is a true story. Mm-hmm. He decided that he was going to move to, um, Vietnam and open up a trust building company, like trust, like mm-hmm. for houses, right? right? Trust building mm-hmm. company. Spent $2 million over a year building like this huge, <laughs> building this like huge company, hiring people. He gets to Vietnam, come to find out they don't even use trusses to build their houses. <gasps> Literally was in the hole $2 million. And he was like, oh my gosh, okay, I've got to get out of this somehow. That can be viewed as a huge failure. You literally wasted $2 million. He changed the idea of the company, created some other sort of like logistical company to help builders there build houses quicker and more efficiently and safer. Five years later, he ended up selling that company that he changed the trust building company into for $68 million. Okay, that's a freaking amazing that is how you happy thursday from a mistake and don't because i mean i feel like that could destroy anyone's ego oh, you lost two million i was million literally dollars. sitting here thinking like how are you gonna say this isn't a failure yeah like where's this turning <laughs> exactly turn. but guess what he took that mistake that he made and it was a big mistake mm-hmm. but he learned from it and transformed it into something that actually worked and ended up being insanely successful well and i think there's a power in that too instead of like it i think the power in it is recognizing that it needs to move and shift and things need to change or is it yep. just like powering through like you have to have the vision To, like, see, oh, this is the direction it needs to go. Yep. Things can change. Like, you Mm -hmm. need to be able to move with things and fluctuate and ebb and flow and do all of the things. Yeah, which is difficult because sometimes when you work so hard on a project, it can be your little baby. And you don't want to change that baby. You're like, no, this is my baby. I just think it's like giving them a cute little haircut. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You just got to give them a cute haircut. 
And like um, some new clothes because they're not two T's, they're three T's now. Yeah, there you go. And maybe they don't want to wear pink. Maybe they want to wear blue. You can't be like, hey, no, you got to wear, no. You got to let that baby be itself, be itself and <laughs> change into what it wants to be. Yeah, maybe and it wants change to wear what it, Yeah, change into what it wants to be. Yeah. And that's who he finds it. I literally listened to that story and I was just like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Which they made how much money? <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's amazing because that definitely ties into our fourth point, which is giving up before you see results. Yo. He did not see these results. He actually saw it taking, plummeting to the ground. Mm-hmm. Like, help, 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 SOS. Yes. And he did not give up. He just changed a few things. Trudged on. But that's the thing. Like, if you're in sales and you're listening to this, Sometimes sales isn't an immediate thing. Sometimes you're working for the future. Like my sales cycle, I'm at least a month behind. Mm-hmm. Typically about three months. It yeah. takes three months for a sales cycle, if not more. Yeah. So like when I'm out here and I'm like cold calling, phone calling, seating, like stopping by, following up, and I feel like, oh my gosh, what is this for? And then all of a sudden account sold, account sold, account sold. Like don't stop. Just mm-hmm. keep going. Yep. That's the biggest thing is just you co- put your to. head down and... These, I look at as buckets. Like, you just keep putting things in your bucket. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the bucket is going to tip over. Yes. It's on a Ferris wheel. Completely. It doesn't have a choice. It literally will. And I think, especially from my end of things, starting a business, you literally feel like you are just, like, throwing money away and just giving more money and giving more money. And I'm seeing my savings account not growing at all because every time I get money, I'm putting it into the business. And... I'm not seeing any revenue because obviously sales aren't open yet. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Am I, is this worth it? I start getting into my head. I'm just like, should I just quit now and just like pay off all this stuff and just not worry about it? And like, blah, blah, blah. but I obviously have not seen results because I literally am not taking orders. Like, and I have to remind myself, like, Lee, <laughs> do not get down on yourself. Eventually it will happen. Eventually people will start buying and you have to just stick it out. And calm yourself down and just let the process do its thing rather than getting in your head of, I need results now. Well, and it's just like this podcast. Like, Mm -hmm. we want to build up a following and, like, a credibility and Mm -hmm. things like that before we start, like, taking on some of the people that have reached out to sponsor us. Mm -hmm. You know? Completely. We want to be picky and choosy and we want to have, like... We want people to believe in what we're saying and trust what we're saying. So, like, if we are repping a brand, Mm -hmm. then you're like, oh... I trust Lee and Chelsea, so Mm -hmm. I want to, sometimes you got to take the time and make the foundation, Yep. so it makes sense for the consumer or customer, Mm -hmm. however you want to look at them, Mm -hmm. when the time is actually right, because it'll be more beneficial for you. Definitely. Like, we want to actually help out what we're doing, instead of, like, 100, just jump in, because we want results right now. Right. So I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and, yes. <laughs> oh, do you want to say it? <laughs> yeah, I want to I say it. Do yeah. The fifth and final. The fifth and the final is sabotage. Sabotaging yourself, which we all do it. Oh. Maybe even subconsciously. I think that kind of ties in with the whole, um, what is that? The, the, when you don't think you're good enough. Ooh, imposter syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Sabotaging yourself is, I think very equivalent, if not the same thing, as imposter syndrome. Yes, it is. It's like, it's sabotaging yourself right before you reach the end. Yeah. Because I feel like the very end is the hardest, and right before you see results, like, it is so terrifying. You feel like you're not going to reach them. You feel like you're not going to see them. And so you sabotage yourself. You're like, no, this isn't for me. Like, I'm giving up. So I'm going to take a half day. Yeah. I'm going to start something else. I'm going to... Yes. You know, or, oh, I'm, I'm really close. I can take a half day today. I could yep. do something else. No. Yes. Go. Hit the line. Do the thing. Cross the finish line. Girl, hustle up. Yes, because you can do it. That's yeah. the biggest thing. Like, you can cross that finish line because you're literally almost at the end. And mm-hmm. you have to keep reminding yourself that you are a capable human being. You got this far. Look at all the hard work you've put in. No one else can do this but you. Mm-hmm. You are absolutely capable and don't sabotage yourself and we are all guilty of that yeah but you just have to recognize it and realize that you don't have to do that like you can be successful you are deserving of making that much money you are deserving of making that successful business you are deserving of hitting your goals 
and you just have to remind yourself of that and it's hard and it is something you have to think about every day consciously yeah you don't just wake up and it doesn't happen you have to wake up get yourself in the right mindset you have to do the things that you know that are going to help you out Mm -hmm. like for me it's something as simple as like waking up and instead of like reaching for a LaCroix which I'm kind of guilty of sometimes making like hot water with lemon because I know that's going to make me feel better and that's my prebiotic that I take first thing and I know it's going to help me it's going to make me more alert I'm not going to have brain fog but sometimes it's hard I just want to get a LaCroix but I know I can't do that yeah it's like you got to put in the extra work to do what's going to make you feel right I agree with that damn that was a good tangent It really was. I felt really empowered. Thank you. I don't, maybe it's because, and you know what? It's because I woke up today and I did that and I did yoga. And so my brain is like on fire. Well, and I also think too, if you've put in the time to make your smart goals, Mm -hmm. set realistic goals for you Mm -hmm. that are higher than maybe like a B level, you're aiming for an A. Mm -hmm. No one wakes up to be mediocre. Absolutely. Or wants to, I don't want to. No. Heck no. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not okay with just okay, except for sometimes. Right. Like, sometimes on a Saturday when you're like... That's what I was thinking. Mm, I just want to watch Kardashians all day. <laughs> yeah. Because but, I worked hard all week. Because I worked hard. Right. But, you know, if you're taking the time to make your SMART goals and start and jump into something or go for that goal or go for that promotion, like, you put in the time and the thought and the energy, mm-hmm. so don't sabotage yourself at the end. Yes. I think there's always... I would consider myself, like, into spiritual things. I'm a spiritual person, and I mm-hmm. always think there's one side that wants you to win mm-hmm. and one side that wants you to fail. Mm-hmm. An evil and a good. Yeah. And that evil person, misery loves company, and they're always like, I want you to fail. You're fat. You're ugly. You don't deserve this. You should lay down. You should take a rest. You should not do that. Mm-hmm. When you have a friend that's always holding you back, who are you wanting to be with? The friend's like, freaking heck yeah, like, let's go like let's go to the gym no let's brainstorm let's talk about this let's go network let's do stuff yes or or like I respect that you know not the person that not the other side of you that's like you can't do that what are you thinking why would you do that Mm -hmm. don't don't wear that you look gross you're disgusting you're boring you're not funny if someone called you disgusting I would fight them I that's why (laughs) I would physically fight them I don't care. I'll go to jail for you, Chels. I'm better. I own my own business. I can't fire myself. <laughs> I'll you do pass it. my background. I'll Jack. do it. <laughs> but yep. I think that's the thing is there's the other really good side of yourself and your healthy, happy, spiritual side that man, like we're on this journey together. I wanna see you life is so short. I wanna see you succeed. I wanna see you hit all your benchmarks. I wanna see you surpass those benchmarks. Mm-hmm. You look beautiful. Great hair today. Mm-hmm. Your skin is clearing up. You mm-hmm. look awesome. Like mm-hmm. your friends are great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is that cute little girl in the mirror? I'm so pretty. I'm so oh, smart. I'm so funny. I'm so I can kind. Do it. I'm so capable. I can do it. Oh, like, I love her. It's the sweetest thing. I love it. So if you have to tell yourself a cheesy little mantra in the morning, cheese it up, pals. Cheese up your mantra. Or get, like, there's, like, affirmation apps that are free that'll, first thing in the morning, give you an affirmation. You don't have to think about it. You wake up, you read it, you're like, all right, good mindset. This is what I'm going to think about today. If you're not, if you're not creative, I would suggest doing that. Yeah. Or, you know, like, people say you wake up and you get to choose to be happy. I agree with that, but it's also just not that easy. Oh, and some days it not. is a little bit easier, and other days it's really hard. So if you have a little, like, man, I feel like crap. I don't really want to feel like crap, so let me look at this. Mm-hmm. That can help. Completely. Yeah. I love it. I'm talking too fast. My lips are getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Fine. Well, we'll let you rest your lips. Thanks. Because I think that's all we wanted to talk about today. Yeah. I think that's probably a wrap. That's a wrap. Proud of us. Killed a gnat. Wrapped up our killed pod. that. Had some great conversations. Dropped some golden nougats in here. Some beauty nougats. Some beauty nougats. Um, yeah. So we're really stoked for the future. I think yeah. that we have really exciting things coming up, and I know we keep saying that, but it's like they're still in the works, and we're really stoked about it. And we'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys have a great day. Yeah. Enjoy we, yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. Hit hit your goals. Write down a couple things you want to accomplish. And remind, maybe stick them on your mirror. And remind yourself every day that that's what you're going towards. And yep. that you can do it. And that you are capable. And dumber people than you have hit these goals. So you absolutely can do them. Yeah, you're worthy of it. You are completely worthy. So, 
Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Saw Podcast. Shout out personally. Follow Monthly Main too. Yes. Thank you. Love you. Um, rate us. Give us a review. It helps us out a lot. Um, and we hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you back next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.